Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain some of the basic terminologies of metal forming processes. So in that case, the raw materials of the either in the form of the bloom, billet, slab. So this bloom, billet and slab, it will be converting into different shape and size that will be depends upon my applications. So let us start with the theory how it will be works so in case of the blooms so basically that will be firstly produced and it will be obtained from the back down of the ingots so in case of the blooms that will be having a cross sectional area from 150 mm to 250 mm sometimes it will be 250 to 300 in rectangle shapes so such kind of bloom shapes it will be used to converting into different shapes like if you want to make the angle if you want to make the beams if you want to make the rails that will be rail tracks if you want to make the tubes by the bending operations then billets so basically blooms are converting into different sections and these sections it will be having a wide applications into structure so in case of the making a structure of any industry so that will be requirement of the i beam t beam sometimes the angles it will be also producing with the help of this bloom as a raw material so according to our required cross sectional area we will selecting this bloom cross sectional area one more things blooms that will be also converting into billet after this billet so a billet is the next produce roll from the blooms so billet it will be manufactured from the blooms and that will be having a cross sectional area 50 mm to 125 mm so this billet it will be also used as a raw material to converting into different stages inside. So if you work onto the billet material, so that will be also used to making an angle gay, then channel, then some bars, strips. So if you have a requirement of the small size of the structural components or sections, so you should go for the billet. So firstly bloom that will be converting into billet and this billet it will be further converting into required shape and size. So this is the basic terminology of the metal forming. So there is no any kind of metal cutting is required. Just you can converting or you can say permanent deformation of your existing material and converting into different sections that is the beauty of the metal forming processes so once you made a bloom then they can converting into billet and billet into the required shape and sizes after this slab slab is of the rectangular cross sections with the thickness ranging from 50 to 150 mm and is available with the length up to the 112 meters so this is the slab materials and you can converting into different shape and size with the different thickness of the plates, sheets and coils. So this is the raw materials is required to manufacturing of such kind of plates, sheets and coils and these plates, sheets and coils it will be further used into to make the different components with the sheet metals. So the plate, plate means that is generally 5 mm or thicker and 1 to 1.25 meter in width as well as 2.5 meter into length. So this kind of requirement to manufacturing of the plates and for the seats up to 4 mm thick and it will be available into same width and length. So basically plate and sheet that will be having a differentiate with respect to the thickness of the plates and sheets. So plate having a more thickness than the sheets. After this flat. 
So flats are available in various thickness and widths and are long strips of the materials of specified cross-sectional area. Then foils, that is the very thin sheets, you can say it would be my foil. Bar, bar are usually of the circular cross-sectional and several meters length. They are common stocks as a raw material for capstan and turret. Later, you can say for turning operation, you should buy the bar material to converting into desired shape and size. Wire, wire is a land usually in the coil forms of the small round cross-sectional area. The diameter of which specified the size of the wires. So as per the requirement of the different appliances, you should select the wire diameter. I hope you can understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.